Good morning, guys. Welcome back to the channel. Hope y'all guys enjoy this one. Yeah. As y'all seen yesterday, my subscriber Wesley came down and seen me from Alabama. Well, the car was acting like it had a boost leak. We were only reaching, uh, peaking 15, 16 pounds and dropping down and holding 10 to 12. And normally it holds 18, spikes 20. So we're going to address that. Plus last night, I'll insert the picture right now from my Instagram. Uh, I had a little coolant leak from, I believe, I used my phone light because I can't really get up under the car that too well. So I used my phone light and I got up under here and I believe it's coming from the coolant hose back here at the bottom. So I'm going to tighten that up and I guess we're going to see if it does it again. So we're going to jack the car up, put it on some jack stands and then after that I will pick y'all guys back up because I know for certain y'all don't want to watch me do that dumb shit because I don't even want to watch me do that dumb shit, you know what I mean? All right, guys. Oh, sorry about the cussing. Didn't even catch it. It's early in the morning, guys. Y'all have a good one. That truck looks good. All right, guys. Y'all have a good one. All right, guys. Just like that. Well, sorry about the damn dog barking. One of the neighbors didn't let their dog out. They just let him motherfucker out. So, we're going to jump up under here. Sorry about my grunt. I'm going to look at these hoses. Yep. It come from right there. I guess it's not tight on. Motherfucker's tight. That's where you can see the coolant is. That's the only thing I can think. I'm gonna try to tighten that down some more, I guess, and see if maybe I can get it to leak. Why I can get under it. I know that was probably an ugly ass face and angle, but. That guy saw it, so we're gonna, I guess, tighten it and try to see what's going on. I don't know. Plus, I got a boost leak. If y'all seen in the video yesterday, like I said before, uh, I got the boost leak, and I'm thinking it might be that rubber grommet that I replaced already because I did use my knife and I kind of sawed it up a little bit. So I think maybe that might be having just a little leak because it's almost holding the right pounds. It's just a little under. Mazda right there sounded pretty good so all I can do is process of elimination so whatever I think it is I can try to fix and knock it out so first before I do that dumb shit I'm actually gonna or before I do that dumb stuff I'm gonna take my intake off I'm gonna follow all my lines make sure they're all hooked up ain't none of them got any holes in it or anything just once over the car like i said a second ago it's a process of elimination you just got to cross out everything you can think it is so for a boost leak it has to be either like a vacuum line a hole a crack honestly there's a shit ton of shit it could be so that's why there's the process of elimination i'm just rambling on here guys so i'm gonna drop y'all off and try to start process of elimination first i'm gonna tighten that hose i just showed y'all and then we're gonna do the damn thing i guess so pick y'all up in two seconds all right guys as y'all can see i took the intake out already and now i'm just gonna chase all my vacuum lines i'm gonna follow that diagram right there on the oem hood i'm gonna follow the diagram and we're just gonna process of elimination like i keep saying we're just gonna go by this one this one this one we're gonna knock each one out make sure they're good we're gonna check our rubber grumman on this hose. When I was down there tightening, cause I did have to tighten that hose a little bit. When I was down there tightening that, I already checked all my intercooler piping and make sure they're all tight and snug, they're good. So now we're just process of elimination. We gotta knock the rest of this shit out, so. I know I keep saying the same thing, but that's all it is when you're working on the car, really just process of elimination. So we'll pick y'all guys up when we figure something out. Because <laughs> as of right now, I have no fucking clue. 
coming in here like a chicken with my head cut off like always but we always figure it out usually shout out benny because normally he's the one that helps me the srt4 guru but uh yeah i guess i'm just gonna follow all these lines real quick and no y'all don't want to watch that like y'all didn't want to watch me jack it up so quit rambling and peace out guys i'll see y'all in two seconds so i went over all the lines they're all plugged up sorry about the dog barking again so they're all plugged up everything looks intact everything looks to be where it needs to be i just don't know don't know on this they got me bunkered right now so i guess i'm gonna turn it on see if the coolant drips out and then go for a test drive maybe that's why we weren't reaching boost i don't fucking know i really don't but i'll pick y'all guys up here in a minute damn look at this i could have ran that over that would have fucked the tire up and look i'm a nice guy i won't put it look you can see the other ones i found too boy they trying to call somebody a tire anytime i find them i throw them out there because boy i know my shit i cannot afford to buy another tire right now <laughs> but back to what i was saying i'm gonna get under there and turn it on see what it does so pick y'all up in two seconds all right guys we're topping it off with coolant now just letting all the bubbles go waiting for the thermostat to open so it can start circulating then we'll toss the cat back on and then that should be fixed then we'll see if we'll scat any more drips or anything coming from the bottom maybe it was low on coolant that's why it wasn't dripping i've already like i said i've already chased all my wires they were good i checked that rubber grommet that was good i don't know why it was acting like that so we're gonna top it off for the coolant let it warm up a little bit and we're gonna go take it for a rip and see if it still does it or whatnot so yeah y'all guys hang with me wait for that thermostat to open up sound good though I ain't gonna lie this motherfucker does sound good
as y'all see guys for the boost we only hit 12 something i can't even fucking see the sun glare 12 20 point 24 so we're gonna let this bad boy cool down because it's at about two something let's see if we can check that to be precise this diablo tuner is the best fucking thing i have ever bought in my life besides this car SRT4 content on the regular now, so or as regularly as I can, shall I say. So let the car cool down and we'll hit y'all guys back up. Alright, YouTube. Sorry, this is gonna be on the phone and not the damn GoPro. I forgot the GoPro. Came to my buddy's dug house. We were doing this boost leak test right here on the SRT4 because as y'all seen in the last video when I gave the subscriber a ride I had a boost leak I thought it was that rubber grommet I had made to hold that sensor but it was this little motherfucker right here if y'all can see there's a little tear in it right there it's that guy the vacuum line that goes right under here I'll turn the camera around so y'all guys can see as y'all guys can see it's this vacuum line right here that bad boy and it plugs right up underneath where the rubber grommet goes that I made right there onto that one as you can see right there next to the wedding ring shining bright uh, was leaking so that was our boost leak shout out Joey for letting me borrow the boost leak tester and shout out Doug for helping me so we're gonna go to AutoZone or O'Reilly's I don't know because we're at Doug's house and he's gonna give me a ride up there we're gonna buy another one of these and we're gonna fix the damn thing holler at y'all when we get back Alright guys, I fucking forgot, but we went to AutoZone, we replaced it, it's right there, we did the boost leak test, nothing's leaking right now, so we're gonna go put everything back together, go for this little test drive, and see if it's leaking anything, and then hopefully we're done, so we'll pick y'all guys up there, and yes, this is phone quality, so shut up. Alright guys, and just like that, that motherfucker is fixed, it was just that little vacuum elbow right there, um, on the way home it hit like 16... 0.7 psi no issues no whistle no leak no nothing so i appreciate y'all guys watching this far i know this video was, whoop, motorcycle i know this video wasn't very entertaining or anything like that but i appreciate y'all that ones that did watch this far so i'll go ahead and drop a comment leave a like and if you haven't already smash that sub button and let's fucking grow together guys have a great day man i appreciate y'all watching let's do this damn thing